Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a secure text field where you can toggle between showing the password and hiding the password. You may have seen this kind of control in many different websites where you can type in the password and you can toggle between showing the password and hiding the password. And that's exactly what we'll be building. If I go ahead and run the application right now, you can see that I have a username text field and a secure field. Both of these controls and views are part of the SIFUI framework. I can go ahead and write my username, which can be whatever. And now I can go ahead and write my password, which is a secure field. Now, when I type my password, it's obviously secure. I can't really see it and no one can see it. So that's what we're trying to change that there should be a toggle probably somewhere over here that will allow me to toggle between showing or hiding the password. So let's go ahead and get started. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new control. Now you can create this control in a different file, that's perfectly fine, but I'm just gonna use the same exact file view, there we go. And since this is a SIF UI view, it needs to return some view. And this is where things are going to get interesting. Secure text field is a text field that we are creating. And based on the value, we or toggle value, we should be able to show and hide this. So now the question is, well, how are we going to show and hide this? Well, the first thing is that we need to get access to the actual password. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a binding so that I can pass it to the parent and that will be string value. Now inside the edge stack, we will have to make sure that we are toggling between a text field, a secure text field or a normal text field. So first of all, I'm gonna go over here and remove the secure field because we will not be needing to use that. So let's remove that part. Inside the edge stack, now we'll go back over here. We will first check that if the toggle is a secure text field. Now, currently we have not really defined anything called secure text field or secure field. So I can go ahead and say is secure field. If the Boolean is true, this means that we are not allowed to show the password. If the value of is secure field is false, then we can show them the password. So if is secure field, then we are simply going to go ahead and return a secure field. We're just gonna say password, and the text will be whatever you're typing in the text. Else, if the is secure field is false, in that case, we can return a text field instead of a secure field. So the password will be visible with the text in it. So there we go. And whatever you type will automatically be added to the password. Now, one other thing that we can also do is to create and add an overlay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say overlay. And we're gonna look at the overlay the one with the alignment, and I'm just gonna say trailing alignment, and the content of the overlay will be the image. And this image will be the eyes closed or open, all right? Which is a pretty common image that you may have already seen. If the secure field is true, then we are going to say i dot slash. That's one of the icons that we can use, or else we're just gonna return i dot on tap gesture and is secure field dot toggle. And actually that's pretty much it. Now if I go ahead want to use this, I can simply go back to my actual application, the content view, and use a secure text field. Now over here we can see that we can pass in the actual uh, text. So I can go ahead and say this will be the password. So we'll just say password. And we also want to see that if the is secure field, we can make it kind of like a private, so it's not really available to the outside world. Nobody needs to know about that. That's the state of the secure text field. And now that's uh, pretty much done. Let's go ahead and run it. 
So the first thing you will note is that the overlay is displaying this IE and it is slashed out, meaning that currently if I run the application, you won't be able to see the password. But if I click on it, the toggle is going to get fired, basically this part, making the is secure field property to something else, basically false. And now I can see the password. Isn't that cool? So now I can go over here and I can say some password. Now obviously you cannot really see the password, but if I do that, you can see the password. All right. So you can see that how easy it is to create a text field or a secure text field, which can allow the user to toggle between showing the password and also hiding the password. So hope you have enjoyed this video.